In our brains, there are literally trillions of nerve connections that enable the complex thought processes and behaviors that we associate with our humanity. Capacity for speech, reasoning, and emotion are all built upon this intricate web of interconnected nerve cells. At each connection point is a synapse, a small gap between the end of one neuron and the beginning of the next. At these gaps, an electrical signal in the presynaptic nerve cell triggers the release of chemical signals which rapidly travel across the tiny synaptic cleft and bind receptors on the postsynaptic cell. These signals are known as neurotransmitters and are responsible for initiating a new electrical signal for transmission in the postsynaptic cell. There are many different neurotransmitters that are employed by our brain, including epinephrine, which is sometimes known as adrenaline, serotonin, and dopamine. Different signals may be associated with different areas in the brain and may have very different effects on the body. The action of cocaine or amphetamines is closely linked to the activity of the neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine is associated with the pleasure centers in our brain. Natural pleasurable experiences such as eating a good meal or having sex trigger the release of dopamine. This dopamine release triggers neural impulses when dopamine molecules bind to receptors on neighboring nerve cells. These impulses are responsible for the feeling of enjoyment that we associate with pleasurable experiences. However, dopamine does not remain in a synaptic cleft forever. Instead, following nerve cell stimulation, Dopamine is gradually removed from the synaptic cleft by dopamine reuptake pumps lining the edge of the presynaptic cell. This removal ensures that we aren't always giddy as a result of one moment of pleasure 12 years ago when we first ate ice cream. The removal of neurotransmitters from the synapse is central to the understanding of the action of many psychoactive drugs. Cocaine specifically binds to dopamine reuptake pumps and blocks their ability to remove dopamine from the synaptic cleft. Dopamine levels remain high, binding the receptors on the postsynaptic neuron and triggering continuous nerve impulse stimulation. Over time, in response to this hyperactivity, the postsynaptic cells begin to cut back on the number of dopamine receptors present at their surface. When cocaine is no longer present in the system, reuptake pumps are restored to function and dopamine levels in the synapse return to normal. However, with fewer receptors for dopamine on the postsynaptic cell, normal pleasure signals are weakened and the sensation of enjoyment is dulled. This physiological response offers a tangible explanation for the reality of chemical addiction and the agony